Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. They have a follow-up video on the drop-down leaf desk that I made for those who are interested in more information. I've also developed a website showing much detail on how to <clears throat> lay this thing out and build it with lots of photographs and plans. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll forward you that website address. But here's the completed desk. Um, I'm going to try to show you some details here that I also cover, but uh, it's kind of nice to see them in a video also. The handle that's on here is replaced. Um, the original handle was this brass, and this is what's on the other, on the doors. brass handles. The uh, poles on the doors, or drawers, I'm sorry, are also brass. And these are the sauce hinges, which are a unique hinge. These things are almost, they're like $30 now. So, but I think you can still build this under $200 in total. But, critical thing here, and I show this on the web page, is the trimming of this leaf which pulls down and you want to edge it and basically it's about a 3 8 inch uh, angle that's done on this piece and then on the front of the top so you angle the top edge back 3 8 of an inch which is parallel to the side so basically depending on your cuts make that parallel to your sideboard like so and then when you close this leaf it matches up pretty nicely to the top and you can see my cuts are slightly off I did this 30 years ago didn't have a really sophisticated saw table I just a portable saw table but did a reasonable job so I'm sorry I always want to pull that out before pulling out the drawer. You have to pull the drawer out and that's why I show that these drawer guides are extremely important um, because you're going to have a lot of weight on this drawer. We don't use uh, conventional drawer guides because you're going to have the weight of this leaf down on the drawer. So as a result See the drawer has grooves carved on along the side with a, a router. Also inside then you have a shelf and you have three dividers and these are 5 inch, inch by 8 inches and they're 4 inches apart starting on the right side 4 inches over. The back of this whole thing is quarter inch plywood. Of course, everything else is three quarter inch plywood. Uh, most of the parts, except for just a few things, will fit on one four by eight inch plywood. There's quarter inch plywood also used for the bottom of the drawer. And the sides of the drawer are notched out for this to fit into. Underneath, it's a little hard to see, but the trying to get a view of that. The plywood is set in also. They're just standard brass cab cabinet hinges on the sides. And there's a board on the bottom, and there's also a board on the back. Now, this is an area where if you don't want to get some extra oak plywood, you can just use any three-quarter inch wood for the back bottom piece that the bottom shelf sits on. And 
the quarter inch plywood we cut back about halfway into the edge of the three quarter inch plywood to it's that's like a mortise to mortise or mortise however you pronounce it for the quarter inch plywood to overlap and have a nice flat back edge. There's a great storage area in the lower bottom. And these doors are held on with a just a simple magnet attachment. There's a piece here that goes all the way across that these magnets sit on and the doors close on. There's an adjustable shelf. Now this does not have to be oak plywood. I mean it looks nice, but if you don't want to get a little bit of extra wood, um, then make this out of just any kind of card or uh, three quarter inch. But this is adjustable and I show the adjustment dealies and the drill holes to make a you know places where you can raise and lower the shelf. So I just wanted to show a few more details on this. And like I say, I have have uh, a website set up that shows all this in detail. These sauce hinges are very unique and they give you a hidden hinge as a result. So that's a specialty. But other than that, these it's a pretty simple uh, desk and the edges look like they're solid because we put the 7 8 inch oak veneer on, comes in a roll, and then you trim it with a knife, sharp knife. So anyway, that's some more detail for you YouTubers. And like I say, if, you, if you're interested in building this thing, give me a like and let me know and I'll send you the website where I show much more detail, exactly how to lay this out on the plywood and so forth. So that's all for now, YouTubers.